Hey guys, and welcome to episode 40 of Let's Play Minecraft. If you hear a guitar playing in the background, that's my brother. And it seems echo. It seems like it's echoing again. Maybe it's just the headset. I don't know, maybe you guys don't even hear it. Let's see, what do I have on my list today? First off, I'm going to show you this. Well, no, that requires mobs. There's something I didn't show on this, and I'll show you in a second. But actually, I can show you the second thing. The other thing I didn't show about this. Um, I'll go to my quarry to show it, because that'll be the best place. Especially if I want to get rid of all this water. I'm probably going to get rid of all this water. If I press C while I'm in the water, all the water around me will be evaporated. But unfortunately, it came back, because, yeah... If I do like that. I'm gonna probably get rid of all these first blocks though. The source block is gone. I think there's another source block though somewhere. Yeah, right here. Go to the source block too. Boom. Now like most of this water should go away. Except for the stuff that's coming over here. Go away! Well actually gonna just block that off. That's probably the best thing to do. Boom. Now hopefully most of this wire will go away because it's a bit annoying. Anywho, and I think it's lagging me. This is just fine here. Anyway, I want to show you that, so let me cross that off. Um, there's a bunch of new things I want to make today. Uh, let's see. Did that. Um, so first, let's build like all the stuff I was going to build before I did anything else. Hopefully I won't get like a ton of graphical glitches because I was playing earlier today and I had like tons and tons and tons of them that was really annoying. Let me check something. Options, video settings, quality, random ups off, okay. Clear water on. So now, if I think I have everything I need, I set up everything I need in this bag for like everything I'm going to build today. Actually, there may be something else. I think I need some wool and a chest. I didn't turn up too many items as well. Um, so I need one piece of wool and a chest. I should have one in here. Just, just, just here. If I go here, you may have guessed what one of the items is already. And actually, something else I need. I need both of these. I'll just leave that there for now. Um, throw that in there. Okay, so the first time you probably already guessed, it's the another ender chest. Just one. Let's see, how is it built again? I forgot now. Uh, where's my thing? Thing. Here it is. Craft guide. Set item. Ender chest. Ender pearl, okay, that makes sense. I don't have them in there. And you may notice I got rid of like a bunch of them, because don't really have a use for them. Throw that in there real quick. Okay, so if I go in here, I can put this ender pearl here and get an ender chest. And now this chest I'm just gonna carry around. So whenever I have something I want to dump, I can just dump it straight into my sorting system. Next, I'm going to build a Tesla coil. I believe I'm going to need two machine blocks for everything I'm building. Tesla coil uses a machine block, two refined iron, and five... No, it doesn't use a machine block. It uses 
medium voltage transformer, some refined iron, and then a circuit down here. Just a coil. And a Tesla coil basically you can it will kill mobs if it has power. Kill mobs around it when it receives a resistance signal. But that's not what I'm well it's kind of what I'm gonna be using for, but not really. I don't want ally furnace. If I go here and put the not the Tesla coil, now I'm gonna need a magnetizer which requires iron fences. Um I only need two, but oh well. I believe it's like this. You get the magnetizer. If I put the magnetizer to Tesla coil, well, no, I need one more item. Two lapis, four redstone, and this, I get an advanced circuit. Now, if I take this advanced circuit, the magnetizer, Tesla coil, and two pieces of string, I get an electronic fishing pole. And uh, I need to charge it up. It like instant. I think it instantly charges up, but it takes away a hundred. It takes away a hundred thousand EU to charge it. But it instantly charges it. I think just because whoever made it didn't set it up like that. Well, but anyway, this thing, you may be wondering why the heck does it have a magnetizer? Well, in the description of the mod, it says fish are magnetic, you know. Which, of course, isn't really true, but it kind of works. So if you, when you're next to water, you have to be like right next to it. It doesn't shoot out of a line. You have to be like right next to the water. And if you right click, fish will just come out of the water. And usually you get more than one though. In fact, usually you always get one. Interesting. See, so yeah, I got two that time. That time I got a bunch. Anyway, this is a good way to get lots of fish. But it uses a ton of electricity. But anyway, I thought that was cool, so I want to show it to you. Guys, um, so I got like 20 fish on that. Whee! Now that gives me an idea. Um, okay, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna charge this back up. I'm not gonna be using it much. Throw it in here. I got like tons of rough fish. Um, probably cook them. Not in the compressor. Why would you cook fish in a compressor? Um, so those in there. Actually, I could split them up like that. Anyway, let's build another item. If I take two red matter, a black hole band, they may need to be turned off. Yeah, they need to be turned off. So I'll do that real quick. And if I take them, put them together, I get a void ring. It's very expensive, obviously, since it uses two red matter. But it basically combines, and you can see it's compressing on my stone, which I'll make a stop in a second. Oh, dropped on my stone back. It combines the black hole band and the um, ring of general density, obviously. Oh, I didn't expect to do that. I think I accidentally grabbed two water, that's why. Anyways, so it has like all the features, so if I could like destroy this. Turn it on, I'll suck it in. So that's cool. But anyway, it also has another function that wasn't that didn't exist in either one of those. If I point at something and right click, maybe it's not right click. It's R. If I point at something and press R, I'll teleport there. So that's very cool. And I don't think it uses any energy, mostly because it uses two pieces of red matter, which is ridiculously expensive or as it is. That's pretty cool. What if you can teleport underwater? Yeah, that's good work. Yeah, anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go to work. To work. So that's nice. So anyway, now I can put just the. Uh, I can keep that in there. Put that in there. So that's cool. Um, won't be using it now. Now build another item. Um, I have to get rid of some of this stuff. 
Um, get my fish that I got. Tons of fish. Do I need any food? I'll eat one of those fish. Uh, fish. Mm, oops. I wanted to eat fish, not do that. Nom 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 nom. That fish gave less food than I thought. Anywho, if I take a blaze rod, three cobble, I get a brewing stand, which I'll probably never use. But I figured I might as well get it one. Well, let's see, where should I put it? Um, don't think I want to put it there. Maybe I should put it in this room, my equivalent exchange room. That would be nice, maybe. Put it right there. I'll probably never even use it, but hey, I have one if I need it. Let's check up on this. Throw the mushroom in. Oh wow, how did I get that much energy? Wow. Maybe I accidentally threw something in there that I didn't want to. That gets not as much energy as I thought, but still, wow. Anyways, now... I guess I'll just throw these iron fences in here. Okay, so let me check to see if that was everything I wanted to build. Um, build that, build that. Can't do that yet because it's not night. Um, so what I'm going to do is something I should have done a long time ago but never even occurred to me. I may want some more books. Let's see. If I take a book, place it in there. Give myself some books. Give myself some wood too. Good. Um, turn my guys for a bit. Um, I don't need that anymore. So now I'm gonna go to my crafting table, obviously. Put these books in. Some books. There, there. Go in there, yeah. In there. Meh, I'll just keep this one. So throw that in there and that in there. Sort it. Now if I go over here, I can take my armor and enchant it, which I had no idea why I didn't think of before. Um, see if I can charge it up a bit first. Oh, I figured it would be charged by now. Anyways, let's um put this away while we're waiting. Should be done now. And now we're going to do something that I can't believe I never thought of before. Enchant my armor. Is that the highest I can get? 10. Protection 1. 10. Projectile protection 3. Wow. Um, 13. Fire protection 1. So that's cool. Got some enchanted armor. So let's see. I've enchanted my armor. So next I'll um, do something that we should have done a while ago as well. I again didn't think of. Wow. Take this, throw it all in here, get my map out. I'm going to be exploring my map. map. Okay, so let's go explore this map. 
that we should have done a while ago, probably. Um, I'm going to keep this out just so I can see what time it is. Um, it's almost night. So while we're doing this, I can show you the other function of the Swift was rendering Gale that I was going to show you before anyway. Um, so let's see, where are we? Let's go to the edge of the map and then circle around it. I may actually not do this whole thing on camera because I don't really see a point, I guess. I may go around two of the edges, halfway around, and then do everything else off camera. I know, I'll, I'll probably record until I show you the Woodward's Rending Gale, and then I'll stop recording and finish up the map. Turn. So let's see. I'm probably going to build another map and make one of the nether, maybe. There's a desert. Oh, look, here's some Jedi. Let's kill the Jedi. You can't touch me. Why you no drop lightsaber? Anyways, continuing on. Found some snow. I think I'll turn the brightness up a bit. I guess it's a little bit higher than I thought anyway. Get ready to turn the a little bit more and then I'll turn off to the right. There's a skeleton, let's test it out on him. If I well I don't want to test on skeleton because they can still shoot me. If I come down here and press C, the zombie can't get near me. So that's what the C function does. Now I'm going to fly away so they stop shooting me. And continue on. Probably go to the edge, this corner on the right. And then um, I'll start recording. And I'll start again. That's interesting. Start again when I'm done with the map. Look, there's an Enderman. Um, map. Hopefully we don't get too many glitches, which tends to happen when you travel a lot. Why does it say there's an on the same level as me, there's a guy right right over here. Oh, he must be on top of the mountain, that's why. Anyways, back to the map. So, oh, that's interesting. Hello, Creeper. Goodbye, Creeper. It's a ravine, I guess. So, let's continue. Some oil on the mini-map I can see, anyway. Bunch of water over here. I'll have to see if I can remember where my stronghold is. I should have marked it on my mini-map. Oh well. Uh, too far. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop recording now. Cause it's just going to be me looking around. Some boring stuff. And I'll be back when I'm done. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I haven't finished the map yet, but I found like a ton of pumpkins and some guys who are attacking me. So I'm going to get all these pumpkins. Maybe I'll start a pumpkin farm. So that's cool. Um, 
I'm gonna go leave again, uh, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I found some pumpkin seeds. Um, I did not take them from these pumpkins. I actually found an abandoned mine shaft, and I found a chest. Not really much in it, except for some iron and pumpkin seeds. Um, I'm gonna cook these spider legs real quick. And I'll throw this away. Um, I think it's like a bug or something. It's a bug with like fo either forge or mod loader or something like that. And it drops this the web with the seed. I mean the web with the string. So for now I'll just throw some of this stuff in here. Turn that back off. Throw that in there. So those in there, in there, check up on this. Wow, I, got, I keep getting tons, tons of this uranium and I can't really do anything with it. Okay, so do that. And throw all this in here that I don't want. Got a bunch more EMC again. Um, let's see. Hey, maybe I'll have enough to build the. Uh... No, I don't have enough. Still need about 50,000 more to build this other item I was thinking of building. So let's see, I want to throw those in there and those in there. I'll eat a fish. I'll show you guys what I did. This is what I've explored so far. Probably about to go explore some more in a second. Eat this fish. So let's drill in here. Compress all this uranium that I have. Wish there was something I could do with it. I can't get rid of it in the equivalent exchange. So it doesn't really do me much good that way. So now I've got like over a stack of this stuff. I've also been considering um, expanding this as soon as I'm able to make that a Mark III and that a Mark III. Which actually, I guess I could do that. Some more torches. Tons of this dust getting shut out because it's overloading. My goodness. I guess I should go to sleep. Oh, it scared me for some I was like, what the heck is talking? Then I realized that was the turret. Um, so let's see what else. Um, I was going to some more dust that got shut out because it couldn't fit. I'm gonna check up on my power plant. Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade this instead of building the other item I was going to, other item I was going to build. So if I take this and grab a piece of red matter. I'm going to put the red matter in, and the Mark II collector, I should be able to grab a Mark III collector out. So that way I don't have to use any glowstone, not really a big deal. Still got plenty of energy in here. And I can put that there. And voila, now we have three Mark III's. 
and then one mark two, which uh, hopefully will upgrade soon. Um, let's see what this plants are. It actually won't be very long. I'll probably explore the rest of this map off camera and then come back, and it'll be ready. Well, I got tons of this went. Well, let me see. Do you want to get some more of this charcoal? Because it's basically coal, but cheaper, so. Can't complain. Oh, good. I thought I was going to get too many. I just had just enough. Put some of this flint in here that I don't need. Okay, so um, I think I'll check out my power plant real quick, and then I'll explore the rest of this map. And then maybe I'll go to the nether and explore that map, too. Nothing going on here. Which is fine, because I didn't tell anything to. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, let's check up on this. Just want to make sure the SCM barely keeping up. Turn that off. It shouldn't take long for it to get back up to speed. So while I'm waiting for that, I want to wait for that to finish before I start exploring the map. So what can I do while I'm waiting? Oh, um, I can make another map for the nether. Okay, so let's say I need compass. One, two, three, four. One. And different paper. Okay, so let's see. If I go in here... Then the paper. Is that enough paper? Of course not. That would make it too easy. Um, I do have one more piece of paper there, but I don't want to use that. Paper. Make a compass. Try to put paper. This is not really a point, too much of a point in making a map of the nether, but hey, I figured it might as well. Um, throw this paper in here. That's, I don't think that's quite enough to get another piece of red matter. And even if it was, I still would want a little bit more left. So as long as I don't look at this map, it should be fine. Um, turn the power plant back on, and then I'll look around for... Um, I'll look around this map some more. Yep, getting plenty of power. So I'll turn that back on. So um, I'll be right back as soon as I finish up exploring the map. See you then. Okay guys, I'm back, um, explored my map, uh, and I'm hoping this map will actually work, because I think you may have to actually create it in the nether, I'm not sure about that, let's find out. Um, throw some of this stuff in here, like that. That's about it. Throw this other stuff that I don't want in here. This should be plenty of energy to finish my thing. So um, this map, I guess I'll just keep it in here. And then I should be able to take this. Give myself a piece of red matter. Put that and that together and I should be able to get a collector mark three. So now this is all mark threes stuff. Should be getting tons of EMC now. And eventually I'm going to upgrade it even more. But we'll worry about that later. Oh, 
probably do that next episode. I'll expand this. So, um, seems like there's one more thing. Oh yeah, nether. Duh. Um, so, explore my map. Just go to the nether real quick, and I'm, I'm not gonna actually explore the nether map. I'm just gonna start it. Come here, creeper. Didn't see that, did ya? So let's go to the nether real quick. What if you can make maps at the end? I never tried that actually. Okay, so let's hope that this works. Interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is this isn't working for some reason. I still don't know why it's not working. And then when you destroy it, it doesn't drop or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, um. Let's try this again. I'm going to delete this map. Then I'm going to make a new map. Actually, I probably want to do that. Let's get this. And then I can use my phosphor stone. Turn off that. And do that. Now let's see if this will work. There we go. Yeah, so you have to make it in the nether. This story doesn't work, that's boring, but oh well. So yeah. Um and as you can see, you doesn't really show it you can see where you're going, but it doesn't point which way you're going. So that's a bit annoying. Um the other maps are actually pretty useless, but I figured I might as well make one. Why not? Could be interesting. But yeah, I'm not gonna finish. I'm not gonna do this until late another episode, maybe. So for now, I'm gonna go back to my base. Is that cool? I would take it, but then they get mad. I don't like that. I hate it when they get mad. <laughs> Those guys aren't coming for some reason. Give me some nether gold. Woot. There are actually diamonds, but I've never seen them before, so whatever. Back. Some died here for some reason. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, I've never actually seen nether diamonds. Probably passed them before without even realizing it, like I just did my base. Boom. So yeah, um, I guess I'll finish that. This is the end of this episode. Um, oh, apparently I'm not in the portal. Um, let me write, do something. Okay, so yeah. That was fun, wasn't it? You know it was. You loved it. You don't have to deny it. I'll understand. It's okay. Anywho, let's see. Should I take some of... Take some of this copper. Get rid of some of this stuff. Um, these arrows, rotten flesh, and this copper. Just for a little bit more energy. And then I'll worry about this um, map later. And then something else. Um, I'll cook this up. Then I'll throw it in my sorting system.
Probably shouldn't give like a ton of this stuff. I'll do that off camera though, because it's gonna take a while. Wow, I never knew I had that much. So yeah, that's it for episode 41, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll do the Wealth Demand. See you then.